Welcome back to Crux Stationalis. Today we head to the Roman Station Church San Marcello al Corso. San Marcello al Corso is the Roman Station Church for the Wednesday of the fifth week of Lent. It sits directly across the street from yesterday's Roman Station Church, Santa Maria in Via Latta. The church is a 16th century conventual and titular church on 4th century foundations. It houses this chapel of the crucifix, a crucifix which is deemed miraculous. It survived a fire on the night of May 22nd, 1519. The church was almost completely destroyed. From that moment, the crucifix became and still is the object of great veneration, as it miraculously remained unharmed in the great fire that destroyed the church. Three years later, in 1522, a serious plague epidemic spread throughout the city. The cardinal titular of San Marcello organized a solemn penitential procession in which all categories of people participated, clergy, religious, nobles, knights, men, women, the elderly and children. During that procession, which lasted 16 days, the crucifix was placed on a carrier and processed through all different districts of Rome, ending up at St. Peter's Basilica. Shortly after that, the plague ceased to ravage the city. This is the same crucifix which was brought to Piazza San Pietro for the extraordinary Urbi et Orbi blessing held on March 27, 2020. As we prepare to move into Holy Week, we come across this series in the upper clerestory of San Marcello. Frescoes by Giovanni Battista Ricci. Our hearts and our mind are set to the sacrifice of the Passion. We move around the church from the Gospel side nearest the altar and process through the story of the Passion and the Resurrection. We encounter Christ in the garden, bound by the soldiers, then we see him crowned with thorns, and here presented as Ecce Homo. Ultimately, he is rejected by the onlookers and crucified for love of you and for me. As we return back to the altar, we encounter the sorrows of Our Lady. It's as though she's saying to us, look, look what your sins have done. Look at my son. You've slaughtered the lamb, but he's taken away your sins. And here we see Christ going down into the depths of Sheol to gather the just of centuries past. And on the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. And here the apostle to the apostles, St. Mary Magdalene, fails to recognize Jesus until he calls her by her name. And after 40 days he ascends to the Father and sits at his right hand in glory. I walked into today's Roman Station Church and was struck by one thing, the way in which Mary can be so present in the art and the architecture. Here we have the Chapel of Our Lady of Sorrows. And in conjunction with the rest of the church, I can't help but see how Our Lady points us to Christ, especially points us in this time to His Passion, Death, and Resurrection. And across from the Chapel of Our Lady of Sorrows, we have the Chapel of Our Lady of Graces, with scenes from the life of the Blessed Virgin by Francesco Salviati, and the altarpiece housing a small 14th century icon of the Madonna and Child. And here, yet again, we see the work of Our Lady in the life of the seven holy founders, who are found here in the main altarpiece of this chapel, along with the scenes of the Pieta and of Christ carrying his cross and meeting 
the Blessed Mother along the way. And we are called back to another Roman station church, that of Santa Maria in Dominica, which has a ceiling not dissimilar to this one, a litany to Our Lady as we gaze up and seek her intercession. Thank you for joining us on today's Roman Station Church pilgrimage. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video and share with your family and friends. I'll see you tomorrow.